Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today is plugin week pretty much. Well, we have a few double uploads, a few plugins, a few other things going out this week. But anyway, we're gonna be going over a plugin I promised I would review a very long time ago, and I very much apologize to the author. It's taken this long to get to it, but it's not really my fault that everybody decided to request everything at once and we got backed up. So, anyway, welcome back, and today we will be checking out KP PvP, which is like a kit PvP plugin. Um really, really cool. Anyway. So all we're going to be doing is installing it. I'm going to show you how it works. We're going to be going over the configure file, all this good stuff. So why don't we go over the plugin page first to see how it is. So um, pretty much what you can do is the source code is also available up here, which is cool. So if you want to edit it yourself, it's all available there. Uh, about it, it's a KPPVP plugin. We'll get people better in Minecraft PVP. It's pretty much kit PVP. Um, the features are here. You can pause the video if you want to look over them. They have over 38 kits and everything, which is really cool. Um, so please read over this if you wish. The link to this page will be down in the description. The kits are basic PvP, Archer, Pyro, Tank, Switcher, Jumper, Cactus, Bomber, War uh, Warper, Wasp, Spider-Man, Airman, Freshman, Stomper, Dex, Fire, and... Okay, I'm going to be done reading those. But there's a lot of kits which you can use. They, uh, all explain what you do here, um, which is really cool. Commands! I will actually go over these. So the kit PvP join joins the arena once you set up the arena. To set up an arena, all you have to do is say, uh, kit PvP set spawn, which will set the spawn in the area you're in, which is really cool. Uh, you have coins, you can use a coins give command if you have the permissions and everything you got kp edit mode which lets you do edits to the kit pvp location um admin mode enter the admin mode you can reload there's stats there's a shop all that good stuff uh there's extra permissions so you can see the extra permissions here for double xp double coins so if you want to give those as a donator perk or as an event you have those you got the images and everything here you got your config files here we'll go over those in a minute for dependencies there's some optional dependencies for placeholder api if you want to use it on the server you can and set up your own messages and stuff for install, once again, all you have to do is st put it on the plugin, start and stop it. You can edit the config.yml, config make sure your kit PvP map is ready, and do kp slash set spawn. Um, and if you want to change the death spawn, you can do kp slash set death spawn. And if you want a 1v1 map, you can do set 1v1, location 1, location 2, and you are good to go! Um, that is all you have to do. You got these signs, so you can make signs for joining and stuff, which is really cool. And that is pretty much it. So anyway, if you have any questions, please ask the author down in the spigot page. But anyway, we're going to hop in and check out the configure files now. So inside of the plugin, when you get it, you get these five, one, two, three, four, five configure files. I can count, right? The main one will obviously be your config.yml, which lets you set the uh, prefix if you want uh, Bungie mode so you can disable Pearl World support. Can't speak today. The permission, the kit messages you get, what join items you should get, should you have a join sound, what should it be, the Spider-Man kit, the Airman kit, what are the settings for these, um, the titles for each one of those, uh, the sounds that you get and use in here when you respawn and stuff, enable sounds to all commands, you want to disable hunger, would you like to clear items on the ground, how often should that happen, what you want the death message and kill messages to be, uh, do you want to send your info, uh, do you want to block commands? What should be command blocked? Uh, if you want to manually set stats, you can do that in here. You also have the spawn world locations and everything, which are really cool. Then in, you get your 1v1 YML, which will just involve, uh, oh, what are the messages for the 1v1? So you got your cooldown, how often should it send? Uh, you got your kits.yml, which obviously includes the info for the kits and obviously you can change these or disable them to however you want to disable them or enable them whatever you want to do so all the lore and everything's here very useful you got your messages.yml which goes over every message in the plugin so you can go ahead and change these all to fit your server seam or however you want to set your server up so you can just set it up in any way you want you got your settings.yml as well which allows you to just change the earn coins how much uh, kill streak rewards you want how many do you lose on death etc etc now why don't we get into the exciting thing and actually hop into the game here and and check out how to set up an arena so i don't have an arena clearly um this is just a survival world so i'm just going to clear this little area over here and we're going to set the spawn as the spawn point and we'll just put the spawn point right here so in order to set the spawn point i'm going to do kit pvp set spawn point um i'll do this here and you can see uh i didn't spell kit pvp correctly uh set spawn point and you can see i have set the spawn point which it didn't do that All right, so clearly I don't have an arena set up or anything, so I'm just going to do this out in the open. Uh, so I just built this little platform here. In order to set the spawn, you can do kit PVP, set spawn. 
What the hell? All right, so you can see clearly I don't have a spawn built and I even blew up half the world over there in an old video. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build like a little platform here where I'm gonna be able to put my spawn point for kit PVP and I'm just gonna put it up here. And you can do this by key KP uh, set spawn. Make sure you spell spawn correctly and you said it says you set the kit PVP spawn with success, which means you have set it up here. So when people do kit PVP join, they'll spawn up here, which is really cool. Uh, if you want to change where the player's death spawn is when you, uh, when they die and stuff, you can do that by doing KP death spawn or set death spawn, um, and it will set the death spawn location. And why don't we build a 1v1 map? So if we wanted to do a 1v1 map, and let's say this is our 1v1 map over here. Um, I'm a terrible builder, clearly, so this is not going to be a good 1v1 map. But if you wanted to 1v1 in this tiny little box here, and maybe you do, don't know. So you can set the spawn with uh, slash set 1v1 spawn, and it says uh, 1v1 spawn set, and then location 1, location 2. So this will be location 1. And then this over here will be location two. And you can see we have set the spawn there for our 1v1 command. Yay! All right, so in order to join the kit PvP and actually get started, you just do kit PvP space join. And you can see I have joined kit PvP. And you got your kit menu. Obviously, I'm still in creative because I was flying around. But you got your kit menu, which lets you select the kits. You got your shop menu, which allows you to buy all of the kit stuff. You got the join 1v1. You can see I've teleported in here. Yay! Uh, you got the click test as well, so that's really cool. Uh, you got your stats, so you could open this. If you weren't in the 1v1, you would be able to do that. Um, and obviously, you can do kit PvP leave to leave the kit PvP and kit PvP join to join the kit PvP. Um, and you got your stats in chat here. You got the click test, so you can click your tests uh, starting in three seconds. So it lets you test how fast you're clicking and it will let you know how fast you are clicking, uh, which is really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna kill some sheep while I'm doing this. Um, so you got click tests and you can see uh, quantity of clicks made 44, really exciting. Uh, you got your shop menu so you could buy stuff if you wanted to, but I already own all the kits because um, I have the permissions. So that is up to you to set up yourself. Um, and you can obviously select a kit, kit basic. I get the kiss basic. Um, obviously I'm in creative right now because I'm flying around, but you get all the kit basic and you can uh, use the soup and everything when you're fighting other players. So it's a simple drag and drop setup plugin, literally four commands to get this whole thing running and started. So make sure you download this for yourself if you haven't already and just check it out and see how it works on your server. And if you have any issues, I'm hopefully the author does help out and show you everything you can do to make it better. So thank you so much for the author wanting us to review this plugin um, and tell you how to set it up. It looks really cool. Hopefully you have great success with it and and keep working on your plugins. I know uh, eventually you'll become gigantic in this community because a lot of people do. So as long as you keep working on stuff, you'll always become big in kind of what you're doing here. So just keep working on it. A lot of people use your plugin from what I can tell. So just keep up with it. And you have over 12,000 downloads on it, which is amazing. So keep it up and constant updates too. I saw you updated it yesterday. So keep up, keep up the good work with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. Tomorrow we will be coming out with another video. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe. 6 a.m. PSG time. I'll see you tomorrow.